Today, I have a little bit of a controversial topic for you because we, we are getting now and then into a discussion on how individualized my case preparation or my case interview preparation or my general preparation for the interviews with the leading strategy consultancies um, need to be. Um, and that is a very interesting discussion because mostly um, unexperienced and sometimes even more experienced candidates believe, oh, yes, this needs to be completely individualized because, I mean, I have already covered topic X, Y, Z in my past, so should not have a problem with this, um, but I'm not so good at X, Y, Z, so um, let's really focus on this. And the rest, I, I would just manage, right? Don't worry, um, but, but I know what, uh, I, what my weaknesses are. And then there is silence. Because do you really know? If you really want to take a systematic way in preparing yourself for these interviews, there is just no way around a very much complete and holistic session to assess where you're standing in the dimensions that are relevant for these interviews. Because most people that have not been official, officially trained interviewers and worked for many years and have seen a couple of hundred candidates cannot tell you what you're actually needing because they don't know. So you would not go to a very specialized um, medical doctor, may maybe a cardiologist, and, and, and tell this person, look, pff, I'm, I'm just sitting here, I have this and this disease, you don't need to check on me, just prescribe me some of uh, this specific drugs. Would you do that? No. Why? Because you have no idea of illnesses that are relevant here. And it's exactly the same in the context of your preparation. You have no idea and you can't know. That's totally fine. You can't know all of what is expected from you first and then also second how you are performing according to what is expected for you from you right so that means and now let's 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 really go step by step first you will need to have a complete understanding and we call that the fundamentals of what is expected from you then you will need to have a step-by-step -step plan how are you able to show this and then you need calibration if you are really there already for your strength and making sure that your weaknesses are not in your way. So I really don't understand why so many people believe they know what they are missing. The whole idea of getting feedback, looking for very senior per people to, to, to talk to, making sure to, to get these advices to systematically develop is that you are not only getting feedback on things you know, but you are also getting feedback on things you are completely unaware of, right? So think about this. And to make that also very tangible, how we are working, right? So there is always, always, always a very holistic status quo um, assessment at the very beginning, right? As, uh, even the, the first one-on-one -on -one, uh, coaching interaction is this. Because we need to make sure the individual path the candidate then needs to take. Because the bar that you will need to meet, that is exactly the same for everybody. And you will need to show exactly the same things as everybody else. But the way to this performance is where it, it gets really individual. Because the starting situation, your strengths and weaknesses, is very individual. And this is how in the individuality is like reflected in what we are doing, right? but not by candidates telling us, what are my strengths? What are my weaknesses? I don't need to look at this. I don't need to look at this. I mean, in the end, what we are doing and what we are also um, making sure is maximizing your chances. So trust me, we will always have a full overview on where you are standing with regards to your performance. And if you don't want this, don't reach out.